Charles Schwab, Schwab right here in Jackson. Yeah. Good Hi, morning. Jennifer. Good morning. How are we you have some really important <laughs> special people in common, and you know if we don't acknowledge it. it, it yep. Ann and Ducky out in uh, Lake Columbia. Yes. Say hi to them this morning. I know they're big watchers of the show, and awesome. they always mention it. Yes, so. awesome. they are, yeah. and they're big fans of yours <laughs> and everything you've done to help them prepare yeah. for life after retirement, and they've enjoyed a very long and prosperous one. Mm, so They have. Tell so. us, what should we think about as we're con well, End of the getting year. closer and closer to retirement? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we'll all be there someday, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the you know, this year's been obviously a difficult year. Anybody yeah. who's got a 401k or any investments knows that mm -hmm. uh, this has been one of the most difficult years in my 30-year history, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, but the important thing is not to get off track, yeah. you know, to have a plan and stay with it. And, you know, this too will pass. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've been through bear markets before. The good news is uh, they don't last nearly as long as yeah. the good times. Mm -hmm. You no, know, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So bear markets, you know, typically last maybe a year to 15 months. Okay. And we're 11 months through it. So, you when, know, hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train coming at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when's uh, when's a good time to uh, mm -hmm. kind of consider your overall approach to saving and uh, investing? Um, a lot of people are afraid of it, so they ignore it. What's what's your recommendation? Right. Yeah, I get a lot of people <laughs> to say, well, I'm just not opening my statements right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not really a good strategy. In fact, um, you know, I would tell people, um, you know, you want to be proactive, you know, this time of year because, you know, once the calendar turns to January, which, yeah. you know, it's going to be here before we know it, you, you can't do any things to maybe save yourself some tax dollars mm. this year. Because, you know, there is a silver lining to this. Um, you know, there is the ability to take tax losses mm -hmm. if you have investments that are down. Okay. Or maybe you sold some investments early in the year at a gain, and, and now you have some that are down. Well, you can sell and offset those uh, gains. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you don't owe taxes on them this year. Okay. Um, so that's a strategy. Mm -hmm. And you know, also, uh, you can take $3,000 losses against just ordinary mm -hmm. income. Oh. And, you know, that's still allowable. Um, the other thing people want to do is continue to save in their 401ks. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, people will say to me, well, I'm not, I, I've stopped contributing. And you should always. I, nice, exactly. Right? And I, I, I half kid them and say, you know, we're the only business has a sale and nobody shows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. you know, stocks are on sale mm -hmm. it's and, and it's time to buy yeah. and just yeah. continue that methodical buying every week or two weeks or once a month when yeah. you get paid. What are some tips to consider implementing now, whether that is saving or, or investing, mm -hmm. um, you know? Yeah, if, if you're lucky enough, you know, to get a year-end bonus, yeah. maybe consider taking yeah. some of the bonus money and putting it in your 401k. If you don't have a 401k, you can always do an IRA. Mm. Okay. Um, you know, there's also uh, health, health savings accounts have become popular now, yeah. mm -hmm. um, where people, you can put money in a health savings account similar to an IRA, get a tax deduction, and then that money uh, can be used to pay any out-of-pocket medical expenses. Nice. And you don't pay taxes on that money. Mm -hmm. So, you know. In there's it, options. There's a lot of options. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of different things you can do. Jennifer, do you know the difference between a traditional and Roth IRA? Hmm. Um, no. Well, I mean, it has to do something with your income and your type of employment, but I guess I don't know I don't anything either. other than that. Did you know those two things? No. Are they right? Are, no, they right? are they right? There? I didn't know those yeah. two. Right. Thanks. They're, they're, they're both IRAs and they're both great ways to save towards retirement. The biggest difference is the regular IRA, you get to tax deduction today. Mm -hmm. um, the Roth IRA, you get no tax deduction, but when you take that money out later in life, it's not taxable. Right. So a good strategy is to really have both. Mm. Um, and because we don't know what the tax rates are going to be five years, 10 years, 20 years from now. So if you have a pool of money in a Roth that you don't have to pay taxes on, that can be a big advantage. So if there was something that I was keeping an eye on, maybe a, a particular company or product mm -hmm. that I liked and I wanted to invest, can I call you and just say, hey, I want to invest money in J&J &J or Target sure. or something like that? Or yeah. I, I guess just how does that work? Target. Or do you have to be in a... <laughs> I'll tell you why Target, because it has paid dividends for 50 years I'm just, straight. I, I was know just, this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and yeah. I don't, Target is not my favorite. I, that's but just funny. it's a producer. Um, yeah. But my question is, 
do people get a hold of you to make those types of purchases or is, or just a full on retirement package? No, people all the time will come in and say, hey, I want to buy, you know, XYZ stock. And okay. You know, the nice thing at Schwab is uh, there's no minimums. You can buy one share. In fact, you can you can buy a fractional share Maybe of I will get some of that nowadays. Target. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, people do it all the time. And, you know, for them, sometimes for their kids or grandkids, you know, Disney's always been popular over oh, the years yeah. for grandkids. So yeah, you better say yeah, maybe I could get some of that money back. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a cheap vacation anymore. No, it's not. No, there's, you know. nothing cheap um, about there's definitely it. people out there, uh, you know, who are who struggle saving mm -hmm. um, and maybe are afraid to even start because of how small that amount will be. Yeah. But um, you know, if you haven't started saving at all, you really should start. Yeah, and you can start with you know, very little amounts of money. You don't have to have. A thousand or ten thousand yeah. dollars. You can start literally with, you know, ten, twenty, hundred dollars, whatever's in your budget. You know, the, the the thing to do is to do it consistently. Yeah. Um, no matter the amount, and then you'll find it's it's not as painful as you think. And as the money grows, you know, it's kind of rewarding. Yeah. And then encourages people to do more. Absolutely. So. Is it ever too late? It's never too late. No, no, yeah. not at all. I mean, obviously, the you know, if you start younger. It's less painful yeah. because you know you got the years ahead of you for the compounding of the money. Yeah. Um, but you know, I people have come to me in their late fifties and sixties, and you know their kids are raised, they paid for college, and now they want to mm -hmm. get you know serious about yeah. retirement. Yeah. So it's never too late. Okay. No. Does retirement sneak up on almost everybody? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, yeah. You know, before you know it, you're. you're <laughs> Maybe not retirement, but the <laughs> things that go along with yeah. retirement sneaks yeah. up on you. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, you know, that's what they say. Uh, you know, time flies while you're <laughs> making plans, right? Yeah. yeah. And then bef before you know it, and again, that's the reason to use the work plans. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you're taking advantage. If your company has a match, yeah. that's free money, yeah. honestly. And uh, take advantage of it. At least put in what your company's matching. Yep. Um, because that's like turning down extra salary, really. Yeah. You know. Um, I've got one more question. It, sure. Hopefully, it don't seem like a ding dong. <laughs> but I went down this little financial rabbit hole on reels on Instagram the other day, and this pretty young person I didn't know about taking financial advice from, but they said that you can actually hire your children as long as they really are doing something, mm -hmm. and that they can actually start an IRA or some type of a savings very young and can contribute up to six thousand dollars a year. My girls are only 11 and 13. Is it A, is that true, and B, is it ridiculous to think about? It's not ridiculous. It's a great strategy. If you pay them, you know, and they get a W-2, you could take that money and put it in a Roth for them, okay. and it could grow for 60 years tax-free. Yeah. And that compounding is very powerful. Okay. Yeah. So it's a good strategy. I've had clients that have done that in the past, that yeah. own businesses. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any other uh, reels? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I've seen, and a lot of people have seen this one that uh, if you buy a vehicle over 6,000 pounds, it technically can be used as a work vehicle. Is that? Well, I, now you're getting you know what I'm the, talking about. I know yeah, what you're talking sense. about. I'm talking uh, about a G-Wagon that I'm thinking yeah, about Yeah, it's got to be, a, you're, you're, you're right. It has to be over a certain amount, and it has to be used for business. Okay. And um, that's, I'll defer that to the CPA. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's a technical tax question. But, yeah, now but, we start. But you're right, yeah. So. Now you got my wheels spinning. <laughs> I finally got my beast back, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. Is that over? I wonder if that's over the... Uh... I mean, I feel like it weighs 10,000 pounds. <laughs> that thing is a machine. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to find out. You yeah. just go to the website. So. Well, you know a little bit about everything. Oh, I've been around for a while, Jennifer. <laughs> well, how long have you been practicing uh, here in Jackson? It's been over 30 years. Wow. No yeah, kidding. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. What's your favorite thing about doing business here? The people. I mean, it's it's yeah. a great town. You know, people are... Um, friendly and loyal and you know it's it's really a great community yeah. um, when you leave and come back I think you appreciate it even more yeah yeah and of all of the I don't are they called broker broker firms mm -hmm. broker why Charles Schwab um, well Charles Schwab is really uh, focuses on the client putting the client first mm -hmm. very low cost very little fees um, so yeah it's it's a really good firm to work with yeah. And if people want to connect with you, they can come right downtown. Yeah, right You're downtown. You're in the Lofts on Louis building with yeah. a beautiful office there. Yep. Yeah. And where can they find you online or how should they reach yeah, out? Yeah, just uh, schwab.com. If uh, Jackson, Michigan, you'll find me. Uh, or Google my name, you'll find me. Yeah. Awesome. Or easy to find. Yeah. So. Kevin Lamar from Charles Schwab, one of our 
downtown neighbors and friends on The Morning Show. Kevin, thanks for being with us yeah, today. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank Good you. seeing you. More of The Morning Show after this break.